I want to take a closer look at integer division. And the reason for this is that integer division is one of the most common mistakes made with any kind of arithmetic operator. And the reason being is that we expect a remainder to show up, whether it's in the form of a whole number or in the form of a decimal, whenever we do division. But integer division simply does not do that. So if we we're in math class and we had 10 divided by 3, you would expect the result to be 3.3 repeating. But that is simply not the case. In Java, you cannot take two integers, divide one by the other, and get a real number as a result. The reason being is that all the values are ints. And so when you take an int divided by an int and store it as an int, you are going to get an int value. And the decimal place is just going to be truncated or lopped off. So 10 divided by 3 in Java would just be 3. It doesn't matter if the real result should be 3.9 or 3.8 or 3.2. That decimal place is just going to go away. There's no rounding. The value is simply truncated. Now, what if I tried to solve the problem by making num1 and num2 doubles? Would this solve it? Unfortunately, it would not because you cannot take two doubles and store it as an int. This would give us a precision error because you're taking two larger values, which are doubles, and trying to store them into an int, which is a smaller value, and it would give you a precision error. Now, what if we made all of the values into doubles? Would this work? Absolutely. It would give us 20.0 divided by 8.0 is 2.5. What if we did this with literals? I have 20 divided by 8. 20 and 8 are not real numbers. They are integer values. So it's kind of like the first scenario. When I take an int and divide it by another int, I am going to get integer division, giving me 20 divided by 8 is 2. As stated, these are both integer literals. You can't take an integer divided by another integer and expect to get a real value. What happens if only one of the values is an integer and the other value is a double? So we have a 20.0 int 8 as an int. If you have an int and a double, you cannot store that into an int. The reason being is that this would result in real division giving you 2.5, and if you have 2.5, that cannot be stored as an int. It would give you a precision error. I've changed the value from an int into a double. Would this work? Yes, it would, and we would get 2.5. So anytime a real number is introduced, like 20.0, we're going to get a real result as opposed to an integer result, and we would get 2.5 in this case as opposed to 2. So in this example, I've shown you another scenario. What if I have the integer literal 20 and the double literal 8.0? What would happen if I divide 20 into 8 parts? I would get the real result being 2.5 because a real number is involved. What happens if both of the numbers are real numbers? 20.0 and 8.0? Well, it's going to give us a real result being 2.5. So the only time we're going to get integer division is if two integers are involved, as in this case. But we would not just get 2 here, we would actually get 2.0, because the result of 20 divided by 8 would be 2, but when we store it as a double, it would append the point zero onto the end of the number. So here's a summary of all of the different types that we've just done. Again, if any real number is involved, it's going to give us real division. If integers are involved, it's going to give us integer division. And I think the hard part about this is realizing that if a number does not have a decimal point at the end, it is an integer literal. It must include a decimal at the end if we intend for it to be a real number. Now let's bring the idea of typecasting into this. What happens if I take 20, typecast it as a double, and then divide it by 8? Well, this would be just like saying 20.0, and we would get the same result. It would be a real result, 2.5. This would be the case in all scenarios involving a real number. Here, like before, I've added a real literal, like 20.0 or 8.0, in all of the examples, and now, when I switch over, I show using typecasting, instead of saying 20.0, I'm typecasting 20 as a double value, or 8 as a double value. And I only have to typecast 1 to get the same result, 2.5 in all cases.
whenever you have an integer and you divide it by another integer, it is not going to yield a double. It will yield an int. And that is true for literals or variables. If there is a remainder, it will be lopped off and it will not be stored. If there is any real number involved with division, the result will be a real number. And it doesn't have to just be a real literal. If any number is cast as a double, it too will result in a real number. Integer division only takes place if all the numbers involved are integers. If any of the numbers are real numbers, you will get a real result. Be careful of this and keep this in mind whenever dividing one number by another, as this is a common error in Java.